Hi, this is Kathy from Scrappy Counselor Designs, and I'm here to show you another project that I have just finished. Um, I made this for, sorry for the kicking of the camera, um, I was trying to sit down. Anyway, I was going to show you this, um, I made this mini book for my friend for her birthday and um, it is um, an AccuCut die of a cowboy boot and um, ooh, looks like I need to repair the toe of her boot um, it fell off um, but anyway I made this this book for her for her birthday and um, she just absolutely loved it I had to get it back because I forgot to do this video I did a clasp using a Tim Holtz swivel um, clasp and some chain, and at the and then I put some charms on this bracelet, and I have life and a cameo and a boot, um, some crosses and a heart, and then four leaf clover and a horseshoe. So that's what kind of keeps the um, boot together. And on this side, I actually attached it with a, a, um, a Tim Holtz flower and a brad and made it look like it was a uh, spur. But this was to celebrate. Um, so um, as we open it, we have the first page. I did a um, put a fl uh, flower and a lot of bling on it and this is um, some gears to use the Tim Holtz on the edge die and then I made this, this is a Tim Holtz pocket and I put a tag in there for her and so she can a picture and journal on it and on the the toe there is some um, bling um, and this is the bling that I used I just kind of cut it up was is this a roll of really pretty bling and then page number two I made it um, obviously it looks like a boot and um, the leather straps and then I made a bunch of cards for her to um, add pictures and journaling to. Um, so we have both sides. So, so we'll just tuck that right into, I made this kind of a work as a little pocket. So that was kind of fun. And then the next page was I put two frames so we can put I'm going to put pictures back behind these for her and I made these two roses out of the pine cone die from Tim Holtz added some bling from Recollection some pearls and then a little paper butterfly from Recollections and the next page um, I fussy cutted part of the paper because this was um, the paper I used is from Recollections and it's called let me get it here um, it's called the Portobello Road and that's what I used is this paper line um, it really had some really nice papers in here um, and so that's what I used and then um, I used some roses that I got from Karen from um, LH, uh, Little Scrap of Heaven and a swap we did she sent these to me so I used them and then in here I put some bigger tags for bigger photos and for more journaling and on that first pocket of cards that I showed you I still need to add the ribbon to it and 
in the next page I made a I put some a little stick pin in from Tim Holtz and I put on it dream use the recollection bling again and the paper says adore um, and then this I got this I got these roses from Karen from um, the swap as well so I'm not sure where they came from or which ones so this kind of comes out like this and there's a place to put photos and journaling um, we haven't gotten all the pictures done for her but I didn't want her to wait any longer so I went ahead and gave it to her but we're going I'm going to add the photos as soon as I get them from her mother-in-law so that will be fun sorry if I don't put this up it will be in my way the rest of the time so this book was a lot of fun to create and work with um, and the paper line was just perfect for the western theme. And then this page, I used some um, chain to make it look like it, and then a spur, this is Tim Holtz flower with brad, and I just used the twine to make it look like a rope, and tied off this um, section with. Um, paper with the the jute and then this folds out and um, I'm going to be adding photos and squares on here when we put the pictures on so there's lots of places fun places to put those on for her I tried to put in a lot of little books and stuff in this one so that we'd have more places to put photos. And, um, okay, search of that page. And then we flip this book over and I placed a, a circle with some paper on it um, and distressed it with um, the distress things from Tim Holtz and it was the walnut stick kind of my standby and I, and I used some rosettes um, fabric trim and made the same kind of um, thing on the boot so it all went so and this is just holds one photo and then on this I have a chipboard frame and I layered it and put the paper on it and then I glossy accented it and then put some pearls from recollections and then here's a just a paper flower to represent and uh, this yeah I said it once <laughs> spur and then I added some pearl bling to it and then I used a, a die cut wooded wooden die cut uh, bird cage with and I colored two birds that are right behind it then added more bling and this is just enough for one photo and then this page is enough for one photo um, I put bling on the, on the frame layered it down here, I put the roses on there and then just tipped it with um, bling, uh, pearl bling from recollections and then on the very tip of the boot I put some pink ones and this was really a fun book to put together I really enjoyed and this bling is that same bling I, I used and I just cut long strips and then I just kind of put it around the edge of the boot recollections this is their um, bling and I thought that kind of the copper brown tannish kind of went with the flowers and everything and then I velcroed this little book um, this is a, a 12 by 12 piece of paper that's folded into a little book and then on the edge of the book I had I put the bling down there to match the boot and so each page um, tag I stamped um, a horse behind and then um, some symbol, 
cowboy symbol on each tag. And I used the um, Martha Stewart um, stamp, I mean punch, on the edge of this. So this one is a cowboy hat and running horses. And this is for journaling and I put a horse down there, place on the back for a picture. This one I stamped a cowboy boot and it's a place for journaling on the back for a photo. And this was a stamp I used um, of horses, which was, was an Inka Dinka Do um, stamp set, I believe. And then this one's back with the steer head with a, a horse again. And this one is a cowboy hat, running horses. And this is the horseshoe, then with the horse in the background. And a boot with another horse head. I'm going to be adding um, fiber to the ends of the tags just to make it look better as well as in the front I noticed I forgot to do that as well. So I will get those done and then the book will be complete and then we're just still waiting on the photos. Um, and then on the back I am and so this just kind of oh, goes right on there. stays pretty well. And then the back of the boot is just a this is the Tim Holt sign um, stand. And then I'm going to put an envelope, a scalloped envelope in here, and I'm going to put my information, why, you know, a happy birthday tag um, for her birthday and who made it for her and, and the year. And what I used on the top of the boot was a hair tie to bind it all together. And again, this comes around the boot to hold the boot a little more together and then it just attaches to the jump ring I have. Anyway I would like to thank you all for stopping by and looking. Um, please leave any comments. Um, I would love to read your comments and see what you think. Um, I also have these chipboards for sale for a set of five for ten. Um, so if anybody's interested please let me know and I can send you out um, five chipboard pieces of the boot. Anyway again thanks for watching and you guys have a great day scrapping and have fun. Thanks. Bye.